Hey guys, Hect here with another anime product review. This time I have Persona 3, the movie number 3, Falling Down, and it's the limited edition Blu-ray set. And this is number 3 of 4 movies. I originally thought it was just 3 movies, and I said it was only 3 movies in the first limited edition Blu-ray review. I think I corrected myself on the second limited edition Blu-ray review. Review? I'm not entirely sure. If I didn't, correct myself now. There are four Persona 3 movies. This one just came out this month, I think on the 20th. And the fourth movie should be coming out in Japanese theaters um, later this year. So, got the limited edition. And I figured I'd open it up and show you guys everything that's in it. And it's pretty much the same type of items as the other two limited editions. But, of course, it's exclusive to the third movie. So yeah, let's open it up and take a look. And here we have Persona 3, the movie, number three, falling down. As you can see, the title's all shiny like that. And this part's shiny too. It says, Kogiro ergo sun, I guess. I think therefore I am. And um, both the first limited edition and second limited edition had um, kind of Latin things like that too so this is the box set it comes like this and I freaking hate blu-rays and DVD sets that just have these attached just like those two versions it just has a piece of paper well it's not even attached it just comes with it and it has basically all the movie information as you can see approximately 87 minutes in color linear PCM stereo DTS master audio 5.1 channel and then there's um, audio commentary, but it's only in Japanese, DTS stereo. MPEG4 AVC, 1080p, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but then the rest of it is in Japanese. It's supposed to be 8,000 yen, I guess, plus taxes. Um, and then little screenshots or whatever, screen caps from the movie. Again, I think therefore I yeah, am. Persona 3, the movie, number 3, falling down, all that good stuff. And then there's nothing on the side. Also comes with this. And if you guys remember, this is a little pack of stickers that come with each limited edition set. Just pop this open. Oh, and it says the same thing again for the billionth time right here. Just pop that open and then right there, this is the sticker pack. We'll open that in a second. First, check this out. Oh, again, I kind of understand it now. You're afraid of losing something, aren't you? It's a quote from the movie. Um, then one day, Makoto encounters the mysterious transfer student, Ryoji Mochizuki. The wheels of fate begin turning as they reach the dawn of, the, of a new day. And so begins a new battle to find their connection to one another. And then here we have the disc, discs, I should say, and the artwork. It's one full picture. Zone 3, the movie, number 3, following. Yeah, I already said all that stuff, but yeah, let's see if I can get a full shot of it. It's a long picture, though. And then this side. We have the soundtrack CD and the Blu-ray disc. I have not listened to the soundtrack CD just yet because my computer's being stupid and doesn't want to play the CD. It plays the Blu-ray, but it doesn't want to play the CD for some friggin' reason. And um, also, right here it says, main theme is Light and Starless Sky by that person in Lotus Juice. Something Yumi in Lotus Juice. And I think, yeah, it is included on the CD. So there's always a bunch of like background songs and then the main theme song for the movie on the soundtracks. So we have track one, one determination, then scheme, sound of the beast, next move, mechanical feelings, reunion, sightseeing, storm for a butterfly, the light you could meet, grieve, um, resuscitation, sentence, and then light in the starless sky. And the Blu-ray just has all the regular stuff that you would expect. Wait a minute. What does this say? Oh, the same thing for the bajillion time in the little spine. So we'll put that right there. 
I also came with this Antiflex stuff. Um, and then of course we have the little booklet. There's I believe 44 pages. Let me double check. Yeah, this is page 42 and 43, so this is the last one is 44. So I really, really like when anime includes these little booklets because it has, um, well, first this is the story, but it's all in Japanese, so you can't even read it. But yes, and the movie, like always, only has Japanese audio, but it does have English subtitles. But anyways, these booklets, I love these because of the artwork. This is character artwork. Give a little once through look over or whatever. And I love these character artworks, how it has front, side, back, faces, and all that good stuff. And then different clothing styles or whatever. And then we have some of the personas and the enemies. And we have art setting, finished and, you know, sketched. More art setting. This is one where they went on their school trip. The hot springs. Of course you have to have a, have to have a hot springs section or episode. If this was a TV series, it would be an episode. Since the movie is just a section or a scene or whatever. And the more art setting. And then some more sketches and stuff. I'm just a huge fan of this. I don't know if anybody else is. You guys can leave a comment telling me if you guys are a huge fan of this type of artwork that comes packaged with anime. But I definitely love it. There is like a spoiler in one of these, so I don't I don't want to show that one. No, it's not. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's that one, so I'm not gonna show that one. Or that one. And then we have cast comments. And then soundtrack CD, so information on the soundtrack CD, lyrics, and um, credits in one of the pages, I think. Oh, this one's the track listing. Yeah, there we go, credits, or staff, same thing. And then we have a preview for movie number four, Winter of Rebirth. That's just the only little preview. Then we have Persona 3 The Weird, which is the stage per performance or whatever. Concert. Well, it's not a concert, I don't think. I don't know what you call them, but yes. On stage version of Persona 3. And then this shows all the like artwork, I guess you can say, that's included on the stickers. Remember, um, this is a little sticker pack that comes with it. And these are the different types of stickers. I think the first and second movie had more than this. But, yeah. Um, I thought there was supposed to be 25. No, wait, no, I think there's only 10 stickers in a pack. And, of course, as you can see, there's more than 10 stickers here. So it's just a random assortment. And then we have a little Tartarus, Tartarus Theater, which is like a little comedy strip but of course it's only in Japanese so if you don't read Japanese you can't see it and then the end and speaking of you know the Tartarus theater I think there's like a special feature in the blu-ray itself because blu-ray has special features but it's just like usually just trailers and stuff like that but there was some like comedic section in the blu-ray and I'll try and add it to the video if I can and hopefully it doesn't get taken down with a copyright strike or anything so this is the title screen. As you can see, it says play movie, chapters, setup, which is, you know, like the audio and subtitles. And then these are the special features. So there are three PVs, which stand for promotional video. These are just short teasers for the movie. Then there's a CM, which stands for commercial message. We usually just call them commercials, or in this instance, it's more like a movie trailer since it shows off more of the movie. And as I thought, the other special feature is the Tartarus comic strip. This time it's a bit animated and has some voiceovers, but the voiceovers and the comic strip are still all in Japanese and there are no English subtitle options. And there are several comic strips with a runtime of 5 minutes. And then we have this also included in all the limited edition sets. It's kind of like a card type thing, or several cards that just have more artwork 
and the title of the movie on it. So let's see if I can open it up without ripping it all apart. I kind of want to say they're cards, but they're not really as thick as cards. And they don't want to come out, come on. But I don't want to say they're paper either. What would you call them? Are they like pamphlets? Well, I wouldn't say pamphlets, I don't know. Anyways, Persona 3, the movie number 3. There we go, the new transfer student on the bridge. And this little blue sketch, like a blueprint almost. That's the first one. Then we have this. All the main characters. That one's pretty damn badass in my opinion. And the back side. Aegis. And then this one. So there's only three. I think there was four in the first one, three in the second one, and now three on the third one. Was this like movie posters or something? Artwork? Because if it was, that would be like extra cool. But I do not know if it was. Alright, and lastly, let's open up the sticker pack. Pull open that again. It says Han Gu Do Man. Super P3 Shiru. Because they call stickers seals for some reason. Anyways, we have this one. We have this one. We have this one. Gene. We have this one. This one. I was thinking about doing, you know, remember I've said before that I wanted to do the Persona 3 main character cosplay? Well, I kind of have a dog, well, I do have a dog that kind of looks like this one. So I was thinking about putting her in the cosplay pictures too and then giving her a little C's armband on her or something. I don't know. And we have this one, and this one, and this one, ooh, and this one. And that's everything that comes with the set. And I wanted to quickly talk about the movie itself, and don't worry, I'm not going to give any spoilers in case you haven't seen it. So since this is the third movie out of four, it kind of has you know some peaks and mountains of climaxes and then it goes back down and stuff this is partly why i would have preferred a tv series instead of movies i know some people kind of disagree with me on that but the movie the third movie doesn't start off where the second movie ended and so it just starts off thrown into a battle and then it goes back to normal and then it goes up on another climax which you would which you would think would be the end of the movie but it's not the end of the movie and then it goes down and then there's another climax and so it just goes like that. And I was kind of slightly hoping that this movie, or the story, the main story would have ended on this third movie. So the fourth movie would have been that little, um, you know, epilogue that's available in Persona 3 Fez. You know, because it's not F-E-S, it's Fez because it's short for festival. That version of the video game it has a kind of an epilogue section that takes place after the main story which has like new characters or one new character i think and then i suppose kind of like wrap the, wrap the story i don't remember how it goes so i'm not going to say any more about it but since the movie did not end on the third one the main story did not end on the third one i don't know if we'll ever see that epilogue or maybe they'll i don't think they'll release a fifth movie because they would have already announced it or something Maybe they'll do like an OVA for that or something. I I'm just not sure. But I guess that's it. That's all I got to say for the Persona 3, the movie number 3, Falling Down, limited edition Blu-ray set. It's quite a mouthful. Um, but if you want to buy this yourself, I will leave a link in the description to an Amazon listing. And if you use my link, I will get a small kickback, but it won't cost you anything extra. It'll just help keep my website and YouTube channel going. So, um... I guess that's that's my opinion on it. It's not exactly a review. Well, it's a review of the Blu-ray. So if you liked it or if you just appreciated me doing it, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Japanese product reviews, anime product reviews, cosplay, 
um, educational videos, my otaku encyclopedia, and just a bunch of different stuff like that, all related to Japanese and otaku, otaku culture. So if you want to see any of that, definitely subscribe, because more is going to be coming in the future.